हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ द क्विक एंड कंसाइज नोट ऑफ एनिमल किंगडम चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर जूलॉजी प्लीज वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑल्सो देन ओनली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द एनिमल किंगडम फाइलम्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डाइजेशन सर्कुलेशन रेस्पिरेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल द फाइलम्स so first topic is on the basis of digestion in porifera the digestion is absent in nidaria the digestion is incomplete in tenophora also incomplete in platyhelminthes also incomplete now from askelminthes complete digestion is going to start so we will star mark it after askelminthes all the other phylums like annelida arthropoda mollusca Echinodermata and Hemichordata will have complete digestion. Next topic is circulation. What type of circulation is present in these phylums? So, in Porifera, Nidaria, Tenophora, Platyhelminthes, and Askelminthes also, the circulation is going to be absent. Now, from Annelids, the circulation is going to be present. so we will star mark this phylum as digestion was starting from askelminthes here circulation is starting from annelids and from annelids then arthropods mollusca echinodermata and hemichordata all will have circulation present in them next topic is respiration so porifera nidaria tenophora platyhelminthes askelminthes and annelids also the respiration is going to be absent now it is going to start from arthropoda phylum so we will star mark arthropods from arthropods all other phylums will have respiration present in them like mollusca echinodermata and hemichordata let's quickly summarize it so digestion the complete digestion was starting from askelminthes then presence of circulation is starting from annelids phylum and all other phylums after annelids will have circulation present in them then presence of respiration is starting from arthropods and all other phylums after arthropods will have respiration present in them next topic is development in porifera there is indirect development development of nidaria is not mentioned in tenophora there is indirect development then platyhelminthes direct development askelminthes have both direct and indirect development present then development of annelids is not mentioned in arthropods both direct and indirect development is present then mollusca have indirect development echinodermata again has indirect development and hemichordata again will also have indirect development so all the main topics of the animal kingdom phylums has been covered in these two videos make sure that you watch the first part also of these notes please go through your ncert also and same way make a tabular form for a quick revision of this chapter now there is one topic left of fertilization for that i have a trick now c double c h e this is the trick these are the four phylums tenophora nidaria h for hemichordata and e stands for echinodermata so these four phylums will have external fertilization present in them test all the other phylums apart from these four will have internal fertilization present in them so that marks the end of this video hope you all like the notes thanks for watching